but I cannot join the class. Sure, I understand. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Well, you're in now, so that's excellent. And David, hey man. Hello. Hey, how how's life in Spain today? Today is some cold. Cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Feeling like winter. Yes, I went out with the bicycle. <laughs> ah. Almost freezing. Chris. <laughs> Hey, do you, do you have like gloves that you can wear when you go biking? No, I don't use it. No. So t <laughs> today, where you, I know sometimes when I go biking and, and it's cold, my fingers after are kind of like. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Cool. Hey, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, hey man. Are you there? Jeffrey, I can't hear you. No sound. Oh, we've lost you, Jeffrey. We've lost you. Maybe it's, it's on silent or something. Okay. Hey, Margarita. Hey, Daniel. Hi. Hey, how was your day today? Yeah, I have a, I have a cold, I think. Uh, I have a runny nose, headache. Uh, oh, but I'm here. Ah, I'm a little bit addicted to your classes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like it. I like it. That's okay. good. <laughs> I really enjoyed your class about uh, geography. The, the, the Egypt it this morning. Very yeah. Egypt. yeah, very, very yeah, interesting. I, I saw you were on the outside at the beginning. Oh. I wasn't sure if you were there for the whole class, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Margarito, what are you doing for your cold? Are, are you taking any medicine or...? No, nothing. Huh? Just some, I think some tomorrow I, I will find. Yeah, there you go. That's, yeah. that's a good, good, you have to keep a good attitude, right? Good spirit. Yeah, it's only a cold. There you go. Nothing else. Perfect. Perfect. Rafael, how are you doing? I'm fine. Are you? Cool, cool. Hey, Rafael, we've had class before, right? Yeah, right, right. Is, is this the second class? I don't really know. <laughs> so, second or third. <laughs> second or third, okay. So, Rafael, I forget, where are you from? I'm from Poland. From Poland, all right, cool. Cool, excellent. Well, <laughs> welcome, welcome back to class. <laughs> cool. And at the end here we have Sashin. Yeah, hello, sir. Hey, how's it going, Sashin? Good. S Sachin, am I saying your name correctly? Yeah, ex Sachin. Sachin, Sachin. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Sachin, where are you from? I am from India. From India. All right. Cool. And where in India? Uh, I live in Delhi, the capital of India. Oh wow, a big, big city. Yeah. Cool. All right. Excellent. Well, it's it's nice to have you here. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Great, guys. Well, today what we're going to do is uh, is talk about something that's really quite important. Okay, quite important. Uh, Hi, we're Daniel. Talk about... Yes. Ah, there you are. Hi. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, sorry, uh, I couldn't uh, not uh, hear you. Uh... No, no problem. No. I, I can hear you now perfectly fine. Right. Okay. I have a problem. Uh, it's okay now. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Excellent. Well, uh, I can hear you fine now, so that's excellent. Guys, what we're going to do today is, is I want to talk about uh, using the telephone. Okay? And this is a tough one. Um, for for when, you're, when you're speaking a foreign language, speaking on the telephone is, it can be really difficult. I know when I when I, I speak Spanish and when I speak to people in Spanish on the telephone, I have a much more difficult time than talking to people face to face, right? Because you can't see them using their hands. You can't see if they're smiling or if they're going, right? You can't tell their expressions, if they're happy or sad. And a lot of language has to do with using your hands, right? Talking about this, right? Showing things, saying, over there, right? 
this one right here, right? right? You say, ah, my wrist hurts, right? You're talking, in, you're showing the part of the body. So often when we talk, we use gestures. Exactly, Manuel, gestures, right? Speaking with our hands. And I think there's a saying that 70% uh, of communication is body language, right? Body language. Has anybody ever heard that expression, body language? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So speaking about body language, it's how we communicate by showing things. Okay? So the problem with the phone is we have no body language to work with. Okay? So it makes it a lot more difficult. So when we talk on the phone, the important thing is to know what to expect. Okay? And in every language, we have specific things that we always say on the phone. All, we always say similar things on the phone, okay? So when we answer the phone, when we answer the phone and we say, for example, um, we don't say, hey, right? We don't answer the phone going, hey. Right? Never. It's, it's, it's not really polite. We say, hello, right? Always the same. Always the same. So you know what to expect. And if somebody says, hello, is, uh, is David there? Okay? If David <laughs> picks up the phone, he doesn't go, I am. That's not what we say. We always say, David speaking. Or oh, this is David. Or this is David. Okay? okay. Yeah. So we need to know what to expect from people. We might hear this is David or David speaking. But we don't have we don't hear I am David. Okay? We don't hear that. It's different in different languages, right? Okay. Uh, for example, in Spanish you would say I am David, right? <laughs> in Spanish, I always say, "Dígame." <laughs> okay, sure, yeah, yeah, "Dígame." Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But we always say the, the same things in Spanish, um, just like we always say the same things in English. But they are different. They are different. So we need to learn today telephone language. Okay, something we're going to call telephone language. It's a different, a different kind of language. Exactly, in Spanish you say, soy yo, soy yo, or dígame, right? So we're saying the same, the same thing always, right? So today what I want to do is I want to start just by looking at remember, okay? Some rules we need to remember when we answer the phone. And I'm going to get you guys to read this. It's, it's a little bit difficult to see, so I'm going to try to make it bigger. And this is something we're going to call telephone etiquette. Does anybody know what I mean when I say the word etiquette? etiquette. To be polite? To be polite, exactly. It, it's, it's a French word, but now it's English. We use it in English as well. This word, etiquette. Okay? It means to be polite. To be polite. Okay? Start with, I just want to look at a few things. Um, about telephone etiquette. Using the correct words, exactly, Manuel. Okay? Using the correct words, being polite. Can everybody see that? Yeah. yeah? Let me see. I'll try to make it a little bit bigger and get it all on the screen. Sorry, my, my computer's thinking. A little bit slow today. So. Okay, there we go. So, telephone etiquette. So, Danielle, I wanted to start with you. Can you read for me the first telephone etiquette? Residential telephone are answered with, uh, with a simple hello. Good, okay. It says here, residential. Phones. What does that mean, residential telephones? A phone which is in a house. In our house, okay. okay. A residential telephone is when you're at home. at home. So, when we answer the phone at home, we always answer, hello. Okay. Hello. People, sometimes you will hear maybe in movies people answer the phone a little bit differently, but usually 
it's always a simple hello. Okay? Hello? Okay? Hello? Just like that. That's at home though. When people talk from a business, okay, from the office, from work, they answer the phone differently. Okay? Answer the phone differently. Asar, can you read about business phones? Okay. Business phones are answered by receptionist who state the name of the company, business, or organization. Good. So, for example, if I was answering the phone for Colingo, okay, I would probably say, um, Colingo, Daniel speaking. Okay. Colingo, Daniel speaking. So you say the name of the company and you say the person who you are. You say who you are. So you would say, if I was answering for Colingo, I would say, Colingo, Daniel speaking. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody understands that? So when we're answering for a company, we always give the name of the company. Okay. Sometimes you might hear some other things. They may say, how may I help you? Okay. How may I help you? And when somebody asks, how, how may I help you? We need to answer, right? The person on the other side of the, the phone. So, David. Yeah. You read the next one. When calling, when calling, ask for the person you wish to speak or to or state the reason for your call, e.g. Example. Is Tony there, please? Exactly. Okay, good. So, when we're calling, if we're calling somebody at home, Okay, we're going to ask for that person. So, hello, is is uh, Asar there, please? Okay, hello, is Margarita there, please? If we're calling a business, we're probably not calling for a person. Okay, we're probably calling for a reason. So, if you are calling, for example, um, the doctor, okay, you're calling the doctor. What would you say if you called the doctor? Any idea? Uh, to make appointment. Appointment. Exactly. So you would say, "Hello." We still answer politely. Hello. Um, I. I would like to make a doctor's appointment. I would like to make a doctor's appointment, or I would like to make an appointment. Right? So we're giving the reason. Why are you calling? Why are you calling? So you tell, when you're calling a company, you tell them the reason you are calling. Okay. Cool. Um, so you guys, Asar, I'm hearing a little bit of an echo. Do you mind if I put you on mute? Is that okay, Sorry? Asar? I, I'm just going to put you on mute. Okay, because I'm hearing okay. some background sound. Okay, I can open it. I will make. Uh, I will. Uh, perfect, perfect. There we go. Excellent. Okay, Jeffrey, can you read the next part? Mm. Do not demand who is this when you call at uh, home or. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry, I lost uh, it. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay. Um, do not demand who is this when you call at uh, her home or business, especially when you have not identified yourself. Okay, good. And you know, sometimes in some languages, it's it's fine. You can say who is this, but in English, it is not polite. Okay, to ask who is this. Okay, it is not polite. So we need to make sure there's a lot of telephone etiquette, right? We need to be polite on the phone, especially because on the phone, the other person has a lot of power, right? When we're on the phone, the other person has power. If you're talking to somebody face to face, they have nowhere to go. But on the phone, if somebody's like, huh, this person's rude, click, right? They hang up on you. You have no power with the phone. So we want to be really polite. Okay. Phone etiquette is really important. So we don't want to say, who is this? Because then immediately they will think, oh, this person is rude. Okay. 
So good. We do not say uh, Danny? Yes, Hassan. Uh, can I say uh, instead uh, of uh, is Tony there, please? Can I say, can I talk with uh, Tony, please? Uh, you could, you could, but Asar, I think it's more polite to say, is Tony there, please? Okay? Uh, okay. Because we, we don't know for sure that Tony's there, right? And maybe okay. Tony is, is gone somewhere. So when you say, is Tony there, please, right? It, it's usually a little bit more polite, okay? So I saw we're gonna we're gonna try to learn the most polite ways to use this. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, sorry, Manuel. I said um, they hang up. They hang up the phone. That's the expression to hang up the phone. Okay. To hang up the phone. Uh, good. So. You guys, instead of saying, who is this, can anybody think of something that is more polite in English? Who no, is that? Nah, no, not quite. We need to be very polite. We say, may I ask who is speaking? May I ask who's speaking? It's funny, you know. When we talk on the phone in English, we're very polite. It's it's a little bit funny in English. It's it's almost too polite, right? Right? May I ask who's speaking? Okay. This is a common thing to say. Uh, okay, the next one, Jeffrey. Can you read that? If you reach a wrong number, apologize. Good. If you reach a wrong number, apologize. What does that mean? What do you? Mm. What does that mean? Uh, if you uh, reach a wrong number with a person, you are not calling. You, know, you call a person. Uh, you call a wrong person. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Sachin. If you called the wrong person, we want to apologize. So, yeah. how do we apologize? I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. As simple as that. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have the wrong number. Okay. Say, I'm sorry. I must have the wrong number. Just like that. I uh, bring okay. you. I bring you my deepest apologies. <laughs> Good, Igor. Yeah, you're using a very strong apology. Okay. Good. <laughs> Uh, Igor, can you read the next one for us? Yes. Where? Uh, after, after, if you reach the wrong number. So, uh, if you oh. are not sure. Okay. If you are not sure, if you are not are not sure, if you have missed the the out a number, or whether you have written the number down incorrectly. Check the number with the party I have reached uh, by saying, "Is this 491, 76, 23?" Okay, good. And one thing here, Igor, when we give telephone numbers, okay. We don't say hundreds, we don't say tens, we just say each number one at a time. So we say, is this 4917623? Okay. So when we're giving telephone numbers, we don't say hundreds or thousands, we just say each number one at a time. 4917623. Okay? I understand. What does that mean to misdial a number? Does anybody know if you have misdialed? We are not sure about the number. Maybe you know uh, if you have very fat fingers. Maybe you have very fat fingers, right? You're hitting all the buttons with your fingers. Oh or something. yeah. <laughs> or you know, on, uh, they have smartphones now. On the smartphones, sometimes you you have to like press the button, and it's easy to hit many buttons, right? So, if you misdial, it means to press the wrong button. 
right? Okay. So you dialed the wrong number, or maybe you wrote the number down wrong. Some you asked for somebody's number, wrote it down, and then you want to say, "Oh, it's the wrong number." Uh, okay. Well, you say, "Is this okay?" If you had, if you called the wrong number, you might ask them, "Is this this number?" Okay. Good. Uh, Igor, can you read the next one? Yes. Don't ask what number is this. Okay, good. This is important. So we do not say, oh, that's the wrong number. What number is this? We say, mm -hmm. is this, and we give them the number we wanted to dial. Okay? We don't say, what number is this? Okay. Uh, Sure. You might also say, I'm trying to reach John Smith. So you might say the person you are trying to reach. Okay. The next one, guys, the next one here. Okay. Uh, Margarita, can you read that for us? Uh, don't uh, identify yourself to an unknown caller. Okay. Well, I don't think we need to say this, right? This is obvious. You don't say who you are to somebody, right? Because it's not safe, first of all, but it's not polite either, okay? And of course, never give personal information over the phone, right? Just common sense, okay? Um, okay. I'm going to skip the rest of this, okay? We're going to look at something else here. Okay, there we go. So here's some more telephone etiquette. Some more telephone etiquette that I want to use. Uh, Margarita, can you read tip number one? Okay, could you make it, uh, it bigger? Yes, of course. Thanks. Tip one. Let's begin with a simple situation. The phone rings, ring, ring, and the caller asks for you by name. You say, speaking. Good. This is so, so for example, if I said to you, if I called you, Margarita, Margarita, I call you and I go, ring, 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 ring. Mm -hmm. and, Speaking. And, no, you first you would Margarita. answer. You would answer the phone, right? You answer the phone. Uh, hello. How would you answer? What hello. You hello. And I would say, uh, hello. Is Margarita there? Uh, this is she. No, okay. This is no. where we say we no. say speaking. Yeah, speaking. Okay. So there's two things you could say. You say speaking, or not. This is she. You say this is Margarita. Okay. Either you say speaking, or this is Margarita. Okay. So let's try one more time. One more time, Margarita. So this time I want. You to call me, okay? You call me. So ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hello. Is is there Daniel? Sir, you say is Daniel there? Ah, okay. put it. Is Daniel in? Is sure, the same? Say, sure, we can say is Daniel in, please. Please. Is Daniel in, please? Or is Daniel there, please? Okay. And usually in, in Canada, at least, we usually say, is Daniel there, please? Sometimes you hear in, like that. Is Daniel there, please? So I would say, speaking, or this is Daniel. Okay. They are both polite. Okay. Uh, okay. Ma Margarita, can you continue? Yeah, okay. Mm. This is appropriate for my phone cell, business or personal. Please don't say something like, yeah, that's me. Okay, okay. So this is appropriate for any phone call, business or personal. But don't say, yeah, that's me. Okay, right? So if you call and you say, is Daniel there? And you go, yup, uh-huh, yeah, that's me. Right? That's rude. So we don't say that. We say, Daniel, um, this is Daniel, or speaking. Okay. Sometimes you might hear Daniel speaking. Okay. okay, tip number two. Tip number two. Rafael, can you read that for us? 
Yeah. Now the phone rings. Ring a ring, and the caller asks for someone you don't know. Obviously, they have the wrong number. The simplest, simplest and most polite response is, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. If you're in the workplace, you could say, I'm sorry, there's no one here by the name. Good, okay, good. So we have two different answers, okay? Two different answers. If you are at home, okay, we'd say, I'm sorry you have the wrong number. If you are at work, okay, if you are at a business, you would say, I'm sorry, there's no one here by that name. Okay. Does that make sense? So, Raphael, if I call you, let's try this again. Okay, so I'm going to give you a call, Raphael. Okay. So, ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hello, is John there? Is no. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Good, I'm sorry you have the wrong number. Right? So we don't say no. We don't say no, Raphael. We just say, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Okay. okay? All right. Excellent. Good work. Uh, tip three. Tip number three. Sachin can, Sachin, can you read that for us? Yeah, of course. Ling -ling. Sachin, are you there? Yeah. Ring a link if you answer the phone and it's called for another person in your home or office. You can say one of the two things. If the person uh, is able to talk, say one moment, may I ask who's calling, please? Uh, if person is not able to talk, say I'm sorry, she isn't av available right now. May I take a message? Last formal would be I'm sorry. He can't come to the phone right now. Would you like uh, to leave a message? Good. Okay. So that's a little bit less formal. Okay, at the bottom there. But we always want to apologize. Okay. There's a lot of apologies on the telephone, right? <laughs> we say I'm sorry a lot. Okay. So if the person is not available to talk, we say I'm sorry. She isn't available right now. May I take a message? Or Maybe at home, I'm sorry, he can't come to the phone right now. Would you like to leave a message? It says less formal, but you know what? I think we could use this in the office too. It sounds okay to me. Okay? So two options, right? If you're calling for another person, they are either home or they are not home. Okay? So let's try this again. So Sachin, I'm going to give you a call. Okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hello. Is Rafael there, please? Uh, I'm sorry, he's not available right now. May I take a message? Okay, good. Excellent. So, how would I leave a message? Does anybody have any idea? He says, can, can I, may I take a message? What message would I leave? Me message uh, for who want to call? Exactly. So I might say, uh, yes, please. Right? Yes, please. Can you ask him to call Daniel? Can you ask him to call Daniel? Well, I might say that. Okay. Now, Sachin? Yeah? Let's try it again. And I want you to imagine that Raphael is there. Okay? Rafael is there. Okay. You understand? Uh, no, sorry. So what you I I am going to call you again. Okay. okay. And Rafael is at home, so you're going to give the phone to Rafael. Okay. Okay. So one more time. Ring, 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 ring. Uh, hello. Hello. Is Rafael there, please? Yeah, he's here. Okay. What what does number one say? Uh, one moment, may I ask who is calling, please? Uh, yes, it's Daniel. Okay. Okay. So now you give the phone to Rafael. What does Rafael say? 
Does anyone know? Raphael speaking. He would say, yeah, Raphael speaking. Okay. Raphael speaking. So he gives the phone over, and he would say, Raphael speaking. Yeah. And I would say, hi, Raphael, how's it going? What are you doing today? Right? Have a conversation. Okay. But these are very basic things we always do in a conversation. Okay. We always do in conversation. All right. Tip number four. Tip number four. Okay. Uh, Asaro, can you read that? Sure. Bring a link. You answer the phone, but you really don't have the time to talk. What do you tell the caller? Uh, if it's business, if it's business call, you can say, "I am very sorry. I'm not really able to talk right, to talk right now. Could I return you your call uh, call later?" Good. Uh, good. If it's a friend, you can say, "Hey, how how you do doing?" Yeah, how are you doing? It's like, "How well, are you doing?" Okay, how are you doing? Listen, can I call you back? Perfect. Okay. So, if it's a business, we want to be very polite. Okay. If you are busy, if you are busy, you cannot talk, and someone calls. Right? Maybe, maybe you're at work and you've got three phones and they're all ringing and somebody's trying to talk to you on Skype and you're very busy. You say, okay. You answer the phone and you say, ah, hello. Right? You'd say, hello. But you would say, I'm very sorry. I'm not really able to talk right now. Could I return your call later? Okay? Very polite, saying you'd like to talk to them after. Okay? With a friend, it's less formal. You could say, so if, if uh, Jeffrey calls me, I could be like, hey, Jeffrey, how are you doing? Listen, uh, can I call you back? Okay. So I'm asking, can I call you back? I want to be polite. I'm not going to say, Jeffrey, I, I'll call you back. Okay? That's a little bit rude. You have to say, can I call you back? Okay. Good. Uh, Daniel, tip number five. The caller said something that you didn't hear or didn't understand. If it, if it's a business call, you can say, "I'm sorry, could you please do that?" If this personal call, you can say, "I'm sorry, I didn't catch that." Please don't say something like, uh, "What? What you say?" Yeah, it's like, "What did you say? What'd you say?" Uh, what did you say? So, yeah, we want to be polite. We want to be polite. So, uh, I'm sorry. Could you please repeat that? We don't say, huh? What? Right? That's not polite. Okay. We're saying, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Could you please repeat that? I I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. Okay? So, once again, we we're always apologizing on the phone. We're always apologizing. It's funny, I know. It's funny, but lots of etiquette on the phone. Okay. okay. Uh, tip number six. Tip number six. So this is about ending the conversation. Ending the conversation. David, can you read that for us? Yes. <clears throat> Often you need to end the conversation. So what can you say? If it's a friend, you can say, Hey, listen, I'm sorry, but I gotta go right now. I'll talk to you later, okay? You may that. Take care. If it's a business call, it's fine to say something like this. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I have to go now, but I'm glad we got the chance to talk. Perhaps we can talk again sometime soon. Say it next week. Good. Perfect. So once again, guys, once again, we see I'm sorry, right? It says I'm sorry again. So if we're, if we're trying to end a conversation, we need to go, right? And say I'm sorry. I'll talk to you later. Okay? Okay. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this link to you because this is a really useful link, this one, on how to use the phone. Okay, Very useful because these are all things that we say a lot. Okay? So it's really good practice using these tips. And I'm also going to give you 
the first um, the first page that we used as well okay for talking on the phone the second one we use though I think is a lot more useful okay all right cool let's try now a little bit of a practice conversation okay I'm gonna try, try a practice conversation and I'm just going to one second put it in a word document Uh, okay. One second, guys. Just one second. Okay. Got it. So. Can everybody still see this, the page that I have up there? Just coming up. It says, practice making an appointment. Can you see that? No. No? Oh, switch to my screen. No. Okay. Okay, now? Yeah. Like I said. Good. Uh, Jorge is asking, why do we say, uh, I am afraid? I am afraid is a way to say, I am sorry. Okay. I don't know why we use this, because it doesn't mean you're scared. But if we say, I'm afraid he's not here right now, okay. I'm afraid he's not here right now, or I'm sorry he's not here right now, okay. these are the same. This is the same idea. Okay. So it's just an expression. It's not slang. But it's an expression that we use, and it's polite. Okay? It could be used formally or informally. Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, Jeffrey and Igor. Jeffrey and Igor. Okay. Yes. Jeffrey, could I get you to be the receptionist here? Okay. Okay. Be the receptionist here, and Igor, I'm going to get you to be Thelma. Okay, you're going to have to be a woman today here. Okay. Okay. One thing, though, first I want to just change some of the language. So here it says, Sylvia speaks. Is that correct? It's not correct. Speaking. Not correct. What do we say? Sylvia speaking. Sylvia speaking. Okay. Sylvia speaking. And then here it says, hi, Sylvia. This be Thelma Woods calling. Do we, how do we, what do we say there? This is Thelma. Is Thelma Woods. Okay. Or it is. Okay. We can say this is Thelma Woods calling. Okay. Or it is Thelma Woods calling. Okay. They're both correct. Here we have, I'm afraid he's booked this week. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. We could say, I'm afraid he's booked this week. Is there something else we could say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry he's booked this week. Right? Same, same idea. All right. Here's one that is a new idea. Do you have a pen handy? Has anybody ever heard that expression? Some, sometimes when we're borrowing something, when, when we need to use something from somebody, we can say, is something handy? Handy. Okay. So if I could say, you're writing down a... A uh, message you say, oh, I don't have a pen. Ah, my pen doesn't work. Hey, do you have a pen handy? Oh, thank you. So if you're borrowing something, do you have a pen handy? So in this, in this expression we have here, do you have a pen handy? That is correct. Okay. Then it says, could you hold on a buzz, please? Did we say that? Could you hold on a buzz, please? What else could we put here? Could you hold on a second. a second or hold on a minute, right? Or 
a moment. Could you hold on a moment, please? Could you hold on a second, please? Could you hold on a minute, please? Okay. Here it says, if you could spelling that for me, okay. what could we put there instead? Mm -hmm. A very polite thing to say is, would you mind spelling that? I'm, I'm just going to change these for you guys. Uh, I think that's better. Okay, making an appointment. So, our receptionist, our receptionist there, Jeffrey, and, and, and the beautiful Thelma, Igor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, can we start? Can we start with Jeffrey, the receptionist? Okay. Thank you for phoning Maple's Dental Clinic. Sylvia speaking. Oh, oh sorry. Sylvia speaking. <laughs> How <laughs> can I help you? <laughs> no, no. Igor? Hi, Sylvia. <laughs> it's Selma Woods Colin. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine, Mrs. Uh, Woods. <laughs> How are you? Well, actually, I have a bit of sore tooth. I was hoping Dr. Morris uh, would have some time to see me this week. I'm afraid he is booked this week. I can put you in for 2 p.m. next Tuesday. Tuesday. How does that sound? That, w that would be great. How we have uh, how will I uh, how we have to give you the address of our new office? Oh, that's right. You moved. Yes, we've moved downtown. Do you have a pen handy? Could you hold on a moment, please? Okay, go ahead, Sylvia. Okay, we are at uh, seven hundred twenty-three Baltic Avenue, Suite. Zero zero uh, four. Would you mind spelling that for me? Sure. That seven twenty three Baltic B as in Bravo, A as in Alpha, L as in Lima, T as in Tango, I as in India, and C as in Charlie. And it's sweet zero zero four. Okay, great. I'll see you on. Use this then. Okay, thank you for calling. See you then. Thank you. Bye. All right, good. Excellent, guys. That was really good. Okay, you'll see that often on the phone, we use these codes. Does, has anybody ever heard these codes before? No. This, this is something they learn uh, for, for pilots, okay? People who are on, on uh, the phone, pilots, they need to learn a special language. Okay, so they have for every letter, for every letter, they need to learn a word that goes with the letter, because sometimes on the phone, if you have, you've got static, right? Some words will sound the same. If I say, what letter is that? That's a B. B. You say B or P or D, E, right? Because they sound very similar. So they need specific words. So B, right? B, bravo. Okay? B, bravo. Okay? A, alpha. Okay. Good. Uh, perfect, guys. So what I want to do now is something a little bit different. Okay? Mm -hmm. I want to practice um, doing some phone conversations using the information we learned today. Okay? So I'm going to give a situation. I'm going to give situations to you guys, and we're going to practice using the situations. So we're going to do we're going to do a role play, okay? So Margarita, yes. This is what you're going to do, okay? I'm going to type this for you. You want to. You are calling your friend Ken. Okay? You are calling your friend Ken. Okay? 
you want to invite him to a party this Friday. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I need a Ken here. I need a Ken. Uh, Rafael, do you want to be Ken? Yeah. Okay, Rafael, you are Ken. So Rafael is Ken. So you're calling Ken, Margarita, and Rafael, Ken, this is your situation, okay? This is your situation. You answer the phone, okay? The person on the end of the other line wants to speak to Ken, okay? You don't know anyone named Ken. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put something up here, guys, so that because we've, we've looked at a little bit of this, right? Remember, so you're calling somebody and you don't know anybody named Ken. Okay. So here you go. So are you ready? Here we go. We're calling you, Raphael. We're calling Ken. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hello. No, hold on, Margarita. He's answering the phone, right? Oh. You're calling. Okay. okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, is there Ken, please? Okay. I'm sorry. I think uh, you have a wrong number. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. What? Okay, this is good. This is good. So a couple of things here. First thing, when Margarita calls, what does Margarita say? Hello, only. Hello, right? So Ken, Ken answers. Margarita wants to say, hello, may I please speak to speak Ken? To Ken. Oh. May I please speak, speak to, Ken. to Ken? Okay, good. May I please speak to Ken? Excellent. And then Raphael said exactly what he needed to say. Okay. Raphael said, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. What would Margarita say now? Does anybody remember? What would Margarita say? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sure, she might say, oh, I'm sorry, right? I'm sorry, thanks anyway, right? I'm sorry, thanks anyway. Or, I'm sorry for bothering you. But maybe she's confused. She looks at her phone and says, huh, but where's Ken, right? Right? So maybe, looking at this list, remember? Remember, sorry. Remember this right here, guys? Oh, yeah. Is this? So she might look at her phone and say, but uh, is this 491-7623? Okay. So Margarita, you might be trying to find, uh, you're looking for Ken. So you say, I'm trying to reach Ken. Have I got the correct number? Okay. Does that make sense, Margarita? Okay. I'm trying I'm trying to reach Ken. Is this four nine one? etc. Good. And Raphael, what would you say? No, it's seven five nine two three four five. I think uh, you have the wrong number. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then what would you say, Margarita? Uh, sorry again. Yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. You said, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm bye bye. Sorry. Bye. I'm sorry. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Good. Excellent, guys. Yeah, exactly. That's how it would go. That, that was really good. That's how it would go. Okay, let's try this again. We're, we're going to do another uh, conversation here. This time, uh, Sachin, I'm going to get you to, to talk. Okay, I'm going to try this again. And, Sachin, Here's the conversation for you. Okay, here's what you have. Uh, sorry, Chema. Um, Chema, I don't think you could say I'm sorry. I think you are wrong. We would say I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong number. Okay, when we say you're wrong, it's a little bit strong. 
Okay. Victor, that's okay. Excuse me for the inconvenience. That's all right. Yeah, good. And Andre, we could also say pardon. Okay. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Right? Same as I'm sorry. Oh, pardon me. Okay. okay. Sachin, here's the situation. Yeah. You want to reserve a table for five at a restaurant called the Slanted Door. Okay. So you're going to call a restaurant because you want to make a reservation. Okay. So call the restaurant and make a reservation for eight o'clock this Saturday. Okay. okay. Can you do that, Sachin? Yeah, of course. Okay, good. Now, Asad. Asad. Okay. Okay. You work at the restaurant, okay? You work at okay. the restaurant. So, you're working at the slanted door, okay? And you answer the phone. The restaurant okay. is completely booked for Friday and Saturday nights this week. What do we mean by it's completely booked? Uh, so it's uh, not available to reservation this year. It's not available. There are no more reservations. Yes. So let's see how this goes, guys, and we'll help you out. We'll help you out. Okay. So to start with, to start with, Sajin, you're going to call to Asad, and you're going to try to make a reservation. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Uh, hello, the Standur uh, restaurant. How can I help you? Excellent. Hello. Yeah, c c uh, could I uh, make a uh, reservation for the Saturday night at uh, 11, uh, 8 p.m.? I'm so sorry, uh, but. There is no. Uh, oh, how can I say? <clears throat> oh yeah, good question. Good question. You, there's a couple things you could say. Do, does anybody yeah. have any suggestions for Asar? What should Asar say? I am so sorry. Uh, there, there is no, there is no table available. Ah, good. Yeah, I'm sorry. There is no. There are no tables available. Right. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good. W one thing that you might also say, Asar, is saying, "Ah, I'm sorry. Our restaurant is completely booked for Friday and Saturday nights this week." Oh, okay. So you could read uh, exactly uh, what it says there. Okay. okay. Uh, restaurant complete, uh, completely uh, booked. Yeah, and we we actually pronounce that booked. 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 Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Good. Excellent. All right. Well done, guys. Well done. Uh, okay. Daniel and David. Okay. Daniel and David. We have a new situation for you. Okay. New situation. So, Daniel, you need to go to the doctors. Okay. I don't know what's wrong, but you need to go to the doctors. Okay. So. You need to make a doctor's appointment because you're you hurt your back while you were cleaning the house. Okay? You hurt your back while you were cleaning the house. So you're going to call the doctor's office and make an appointment. Okay? Make the appointment. So this is an interesting one, David. The problem <laughs> is you're going to answer the phone, David, but he okay. called accidentally called a pediatrician's office. Okay? Okay. Does everybody know what a pediatrician is? For children. A for doctor children. for children. Okay. So the problem is Daniel has called the wrong office. Okay. So D Daniel, do you think you can do that? Uh, yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Okay, David, can you do that? I didn't think so. <laughs> we'll try, we'll try. Okay, good. So here we go, Daniel. Ready? Ring, 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 ring. Hello? <laughs> That's a pediatrician's office. 
Uh, sure. Is there? Okay, one second, guys. Before okay. we do this, that means you would usually give the name of the, oh. the doctor's office, right? So you would okay. do a right to say the pediatrician's office, but there's usually a name, right? So maybe you'd say okay. uh, Happy Children Pediatrician's Office or Do okay. Dr. Johnson's Pediatrician's Office, right? So you need a name usually. Okay. All right, here we go. One more time. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, this is John's Pediatrician's Office. Oh, is there the is there Dr. Phil there? <laughs> I can't so, hear you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit difficult to hear you. So, one thing, Debbie, you would say, this is John's pediatrician's office. And yeah. li like we heard before from, uh, I can't remember who it was, I think it was Raphael, we say, um, how may I help you? Okay. <laughs> I how may it. I help you? Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. We're learning here. We're learning. So, how may I help you? Okay. How may I help you? So if he says, how may I help you, Daniel, how would you answer? Uh, is Dr. Phil there? Usually, usually when we call a doctor's office, we don't want to talk to the doctor, right? Okay. What do we want to do? We want to tell them what we want. Okay. So we want to make an appointment. Oh, okay. Okay. So you, what would you say? Any ideas? What What would Daniel say, guys? What would Daniel say? Maybe. Can I make, can I make an appointment? Exactly. Can I make an appointment with Doctor John? Okay. Can I make an appointment with Dr. John? Okay. Good. Yeah, Andre, I, I want to make an appointment. Good. What would you say, David? Oof, uh, what is the age of your son? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to, what to do. Yeah, good. Okay. Good. We, you, you might ask, David, um, 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 yes, of course. Can I ask what the problem is? Can oh, you tell well. me what the problem is? Okay. Well, can you tell me what the problem is? Sure. I call because uh, I back uh, why I I was cleaning my house. Good.